Hello guys, welcome to Learning Online with Prep Class. I am BC and I'm your tutor. Today we are going to be solving Loyola Jesuit College Entrance Examination Quantitative Reasoning Year 2020 from question 6 to question 10. Subscribe to our channel, like and make your comments on our videos. Alright, so let's look at the sample below. Study the sample below carefully. Study the sample below carefully. So this means you have to study. You have to study the sample. Before you can answer the questions, you have to study the samples. That is what quantitative reasoning is all about. So you have to study. You'll be given a set of samples to study. Once you're able to, do, to study it, you will find out the math necessary to solve the problem. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and find the missing numbers in the questions that follow. So that is very easy. So what does quantitative reasoning does to you? It helps you to think. So you have to think deeply to be able to get your answers. Now, let's study these questions together. But I would like you to pause this video, study it, find out the mathematics behind this, and then let's solve the questions together. I hope you've been able to do that. Well, if not, you can learn it now. All right, so you will find out that you have to find the sum of the top numbers. Once you add the top numbers and the sum is an odd number, you add three. But if the sum is an even number, what do you do? You add two, very easy. What are odd numbers? Odd numbers are numbers that end in one, three, five, seven, and nine. So if your sum end in any of that, then all you have to do is to add three. But if the sum is an even number, that is, if the number end in two, four, six, eight, and zero, all you have to do is to add two. Now let's check out the samples and see if it goes with that logic. So the top numbers are four and seven. Four plus seven is 11. So 11 is what? It's an odd number. Why? Because it ends in one. And what do we do when it's an odd number? We add three. 11 plus three is 14. So you can see here, the bottom number is 14. Very easy. So let's look at the second sample and see if it's going to work with it as well. So the top numbers are 18 and 15. 18 plus 15 is what? 33. That's correct. 33. So what's 33? Is it an odd number or an even number? 33 ends in 3. So it's an odd number. That's correct. Clap for yourself. Okay. So 33 is an odd number. So 33 plus 3. Why are we adding 3? Because 33 is an odd number. So when you have an odd number, you add 3. 33 plus 3 equals what? 36. Now, let's look at the third sample. The top numbers are 18 and 7. Now, let's find the sum of the top numbers. 18 plus 7 is what? 25. And 25 is an odd number or an even number. It's an odd number because it ends in... Five, correct, well done. So 25 is an odd number. So what do we do when it's an odd number? We add three. 25 plus three would give 28. That's correct. So let's look at it. You can see you have 28 here as the bottom number. So this means that all we have to do is to add the top numbers. If the sum is an even number, you do what? You add two. But if the sum is an odd number, you add three. That's as simple as that. So you can see that you don't even have to do so much. All you have to do is to study the samples carefully. Study them carefully. And then you'll be able to answer the questions that follow. Now let's go ahead and answer the questions. Question six. Question six. So here we're giving a top number and the bottom number. So, the second top number is missing. So, how do we do this? This is very easy. So, to find the missing top number, we subtract the known top number from the bottom number. And then, we subtract 3 if the answer is an odd number, or subtract 2 if the answer is an even number. As simple as that. 
Now, the, the non-top number is 19. 34 minus 19 is what? 15. So, what is 15? Do you know? Is it an odd number or an even number? It is an odd number because it ends in 5. Numbers that end in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 are odd numbers. So, we add 3 because it's an odd number. So, we subtract 3 because it's an odd number. 15 minus 3 is 12. So, the missing number is 12. So, you can see that that is very easy, right? Now, let's see if it is correct. The top number is now 12, right? 12 plus 19 would give what? 31. 31 is an odd number. When we add 3 to 31, we'll have 34. So, you can see that that is very easy. All right. So, the correct option is A which is 12. So you can see that is easy. Let's move on to number seven. You add the top numbers as 16 and 17, but the bottom number is missing. So let's find out the bottom number. Okay, to find the bottom number, all you have to do is to add the top numbers. So you find it, so you find the sum of the top numbers. Once you do that, if it is an even number, you add 2. If it is an odd number, you add what? You add 3. So let's find out the bottom number here. So the sum of the top number is equal to 16 plus 17. 16 plus 17 is 33. Is 33 an odd number or an even number? It is an odd number because it ends in 3. So 33 is an odd number. So we add 3. 33 plus 3 is 36. So that is correct. So we've been able to find the bottom number. Now let's find out which of the options is correct. A is not correct. B is not correct. C is not correct. But D is correct because it is 36. And that is our answer. So the correct option is D. Now let's move on to number 18. We are giving the two top numbers and then the bottom number is missing. So this is also very simple. So using the logic we got from the samples, we are going to answer this question. So all we have to do to get the bottom number is to find the sum of the top numbers. If the sum is an odd number, we add three. If the sum is an even number, we simply add two. Now let's find out the sum of the top numbers. The sum of the top number equals 14 plus 13. 14 plus 13 is what? 27. Is 27 an odd number or an even number? 27 is an odd number. Why? Because it ends in 7. Okay? 27 is an odd number. So what do we do when it is an odd number? We add 3. But when it is an even number, we add 2. So 27 plus 3 is 30. So the bottom number is 30. As simple as a, B, C. All right, let's find out which of the options is correct. So the correct option is D, which is 30. So let's move on to number 9. Number 9 is also very easy. So we are given the two top numbers, 16 and 2. So we have to find the missing bottom number. Now, for us to get the bottom number, what do we do? We find the sum of the top numbers. If the sum is an even number, we add 2. If the sum is an odd number, we add 3. As simple as that. So let's find out the sum of the top numbers. The sum of the top numbers is equal to 16 plus 2. And that would give us what? 18. And 18 is what? Is an even number. Why? Even numbers are numbers that end in 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0. 18 ends in 8. So 18 is an even number. So what do we do when it is an even number? We add just 2. 18 plus 2 is 20. So the bottom number is what? 20. So it means that the missing number here is 20. Now let's find out which of the options is correct. The correct option is C. 20. So it's not A. It's not B. It's not D. The only option that is 20 is C. So that's the option that you tick. Number 10. 
which is the final question in this video. So we are given five. So we are given one of the top numbers, which is five, and we are given the bottom number, which is 26. So we have to find out the second top number. So this is very, very, very easy as well. All right, let's find out if it is really easy. So to find a missing top number, you subtract the no top number from the bottom number. Then you do what? You subtract two if the answer is an even number or subtract three if the answer is an odd number. As simple as that. As simple as that. Now, 26 minus five, that is the bottom number minus the known top number. 26 minus five is what? 21. Is 21 an odd number or an even number? Of course, it is an odd number because it ends in one. Correct. So 21 is an odd number. So what do we do? We subtract three. But if it is an even number, we subtract two. 21 minus three is 18, right? So the missing top number is 18. Now let's check if our answer is correct. Remember to get the bottom number, you sum up the top numbers. And then you add 3 if it is an odd number, and you add 2 if it is an even number. 18 plus 15 is what? 23. 23 is an odd number because it ends in 3. Now let's add 3 to it. 23 plus 3 would give 26. So, yay, we got it correctly. So, that is the correct answer. The missing number is 18. Now, let's find out which of the options is correct. A isn't correct. C is not correct. D is not correct. So, the correct option is B, which is 18. So, 18 is the correct answer. So, let's check it. Check. All right. So, please don't forget to like and comment on our videos. Subscribe to our channel. You can also join us on WhatsApp by clicking on the link in the description below. Till I come your way next time. Bye for now.